What's up you guys, it's Matt here. Let's take some time to talk about XRP because my plan for XRP, I just wanna hold more and more of that position. I believe XRP is gonna be worth a lot and some people may not believe XRP is gonna be worth that much, but I really do think that XRP is gonna be worth a lot. Do I have a specific number on exactly how much it will be worth? Honestly, I don't know. I don't know everything that they will uh, do I know I have certain goals to hit as I um, want to take profit, want to take my initial investment, want to take a lot of profit. Those are those goals that I want to hit. But I also want to have investment goals and how much I want to put into the play. Because as I put in enough within that play that I truly, truly believe in, I know I can get that return because I do believe that it's going to make this move, right? I've researched that more than I've researched a lot of other projects because it is one of my heaviest or if not my heaviest project that I have, right? Now, I know that it's not. I've invested more into CRO and I continuously invest some into CRO, which is another uh, video that I feel like we need to make. But I also have things that are invested in the Jasmine and some money that's invested into Grok. Now, currently, I've invested more money into XRP than Grok, but CRO is at the top of that list. Um, and CRO is currently standing, you know, kind of at the top of that list. So I wanted to talk about how much I wanted to hold. By that, by um, the time things start to run, or by the time we get to a place to where I'm done buying, and uh, maybe it's like an 80 cent price or a little bit above, um, I'm, I'm done buying at that point. I want to hold 20,000, at least 20,000 uh, XRP. Now, if things start to run today, then obviously I'm not going to hold 20,000 XRP. Um, but it all depends because I do have a scenario to where if it does start to run, I might hold a lot more XRP than, than you think, right? So let's talk about this. Guys, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell for more of these videos. Also, Make sure you check out some of the links down below for my Patreon, for Twitter, if you guys want to follow me there. Also, if you want to check out Margex, which we will be going through some scenarios within this video within Margex, feel free to check out my uh, link, my referral link for Margex down below, where you can start to trade with up to 5x leverage, or sorry, up to 100x leverage on things like Bitcoin and BNB and Ethereum. But you can also trade with as little as 5x leverage and uh, you know have more of a long-term strategy from it, which is what I'm currently looking to do. Um, still testing out the market, still seeing if that does work, especially in the crypto market, which does fluctuate pretty hard, you know, up and down, um, has large peaks and large valleys. But let's talk about XRP in this video, guys. Um, let's uh, go over to my position to start. Currently, uh, my position that I have is worth 7000 about $7,500, $7,459.19. I'm holding 13480 XRP. Uh, the current price is $0.55, uh, cents, and I'm down $1,052 on the position. That's what it says, right? I was up quite a bit, but again, I'm going with what Coinbase has to say, even though I shifted some and moved some off the platform, um, move some back to the platform. It was just like a, a whole mess. But either way, um, it says that I'm down a thousand dollars, so I'm going with that. Uh, so meaning I need to get to about eight thousand uh, four hundred dollars before I can, or eight thousand five hundred dollars, let's say, uh, before I can break even. Uh, so it would be uh, seeing it at a level of like sixty something cents, right? So, anyways. Um, that's where my position is. Now, I need to add somewhere um, north of um, or south of 7,000 coins. So I need to add 6,500-ish coins. Uh, I do plan on continuously trying to buy more, especially like if I can find the ability to do that at these prices, I will. Um, but I also have another strategy in play as things do maybe run. So uh, if we look at where XRP is, let's just go through a little update since we're not doing another XRP video. Um, we're currently seeing a about a 1% gain. It's at $0.55, cents, $30 billion market cap. Again, it was sub $30 billion market cap. We're seeing $600 million worth of volume, which is definitely on the lower side, 2% volume to market cap ratio um, on the play. 
if we look at the history of where this has been in the last year, it has found a way to increase up to these 82 or 90 cent mark. I believe it did go to like 90 plus cents before decreasing. And that was when the ruling was that XRP was not labeled a security, but then the appeal came in and it pushed back down to about 50 cents and then increased back up to about 70 cents after we saw another win, which was the CEO and the chairman, um, you know, those charges dropped and uh, the potential settlement that could take place. This was on February, or sorry, uh, in November 7th, which I believe November 7th or November 9th was the, the date to where we were going to see the uh, potential settlement until they said, you know what? No, we will take away the settlement. The SEC said that. And then uh, this, the CEO was just like, look, if you want to do that, if you want to play it this way, we'll take it all the way to the Supreme Court. That's the way that we... Uh, we thought they were closer, but that's a whole ordeal. But anyways, my strategy, right? I want to hold 20,000 XRP. While I do have the ability to buy maybe 2,000 here and there, especially while it being at, you know, 55 cents, that means that really I only need to buy like $1,000 and I'll buy like 2,000, but I still knew, do need to continue to invest in more and more thousands of dollars in order to, um, you know, get back that uh, or sorry, to get to the level that I want to get to of 20000 right? I would need to invest at least $3,000 into it. So that being said, as we see things that run, um, I do have the ability to gain quite a bit from this. And the way that I'm going to do that is through Margex. This is going to be a portion of it. So a portion of it through Margex is uh, probably going to be it. As you can see here, I do have, you know, 371 that I have, um, you know, pushed towards margin. And it's at a 5x, which I'm investing $1,000, basically, um, only 20% of that money is mine. And um, as I see that grow, I'll be able to gain so much out of that. So like, if I wanted to get to, let's say the price value, I wanted this to get to about $1.20, it does get over my uh, position. That means that currently, I'll be up about 600% on that. Meaning that if I have 400 and multiply by six, I'll have about 2,400 XRP that I can gain from that alone by by doing that, which is fantastic. Now, it will be at a different price accordingly, but I will gain more XRP from that play as well. Now, I also have a play down here that I'm down quite a bit, uh, but I really don't expect it to go down this low. But honestly, anything could happen. I could get fully liquidated there. So always understand that that is an option that you can get fully liquidated. And uh, let me go ahead and move out of the way a little bit. But I currently have 442 that's there. And again, if I get to that certain level where I'm up about 60 or 600%, um, I'll basically take that that four or, um, yeah, let's just say four. And then I'm rounding up. That's another 2,400. So I could have about 4,000 uh, extra coins there. So if I invest 2,000 here and I see this run to about $1.20, I'll be able to gain so much out of that and hold so much out of that. And uh, who really knows exactly if I'll do everything over there, if I might do stuff over here to where I do end up, you know, uh, uh, selling it and, and doing whatever I can. But either way, I'm trying to collect so much out of these longer term, um, you know, margin trades or leverage trades, which uh, I'm giving myself room so that I don't get, you know, fully liquidated. But there's always a chance that you can get fully liquidated as you are trading with somebody else's money. The full liquidation here would be until whatever you invested is dried out. So if I invested 371 XRP, um, whatever that investment is, it would be to about 44 cents to where I would get dried out. So that's where you have to take that risk. And that's the risk that I'm playing. Now, if it doesn't play out that way, then it doesn't play out that way. I'll just have whatever XRP I have. And I'll also factor that into whatever uh, losses I do um, or gains I do have um, overall. Because I, for the positions that I'm currently holding, holding, it would need to get back down. It would need to get down to zero for me to have zero, right? For this, if it gets to 44 cents, I end up losing everything that is invested into that play. If this gets down to 47 cents, I lose everything that's invested into that play as well as what I have here. I have 123 that's invested here uh, for Solana. And um, that's sitting at a gain right now of about 20%. And then I have a little more XRP that's invested here, right? So I'm trying to invest XRP as much as I can so that I can gain more XRP in the end. But it all depends on how much XRP I have in my wallet, which I just 
invested into this play today. It is down 2% or sorry, 1% or $2. So ultimately that's my plan is to gain more and more throughout this, as well as just investing. You might see me buy more XRP today um, or tomorrow, but um, we will see how everything plays out. All I know is that I want to hold 20,000 XRP at least, um, you know, before we get into any type of major bullish momentum for XRP. Uh, but let me know your thoughts about this. How much do you hold in XRP? Do you hold 20,000? Do you hold 30,000? I want to know, um, you know, where you purchased that. Just to spill all the information, spill all the tea. Guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more of these videos. Also, if you want to start trading on Margex, I caution you to just be careful and be disciplined because I don't want people to make a mistake and go at a 100X or a 50X because you have that ability to go to 50X, but it doesn't mean that you should. Um, depending on how strong you are within that and how much you invest into it, it doesn't really mean that you should go 50X. You can see a lot of the positions that I do hold, they're all at a 5X, uh, 9X, 10X. The highest one is a 15X, which is a BNB investment, and it's currently up 76%. So, you know, and it's only a small amount that I did invest in there at that 15X uh, leverage. So, guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Um, make sure you check out my link for Margex down below, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.